Morning. I'm thrilled to be in Barcelona. And I'd like to thank the Mobile World Congress for inviting me here and all of you for coming. What a great time to be a part of this industry. We know things are still tough in the global economy, but I couldn't be more optimistic about the industry and about BlackBerry. At BlackBerry, we built a lot of groundbreaking wireless technology. This is our passion. It's what we live and breathe every day. And we pioneered push email, making it work over the very first wireless networks, forever changing the way we work and communicate. We made smartphones before anyone knew what a smartphone was. Today, the march is on to smartphones. And it's propelling our industry and BlackBerry to record numbers. In our most recent quarter, we shipped more than 10 million BlackBerry smartphones and posted better than expected revenue and profit. In the US, BlackBerry continues to be the number one smartphone brand and accounted for five of the top 10 best-selling smartphones according to a recent IDC report. Have you seen the estimates? Have you seen the latest estimates for conversions to smartphones? In the last quarter, approximately one in six phones shipped worldwide was a smartphone. Analysts estimate this trend will continue to grow, and that's great news for our industry. But none of it would have been possible without our great partners around the world. Thank you for helping us build this global industry that's driving so much positive change in people's lives. Today, I'm going to talk to you about three things. I'm going to talk to you about a challenge that our industry needs to solve in order, in order to sustain the terrific growth we've all seen. Overcoming this challenge is going to be crucial if we're going to continue de delivering the rich smartphone experiences our customers expect. I'm going to talk to you about how BlackBerry is rising to meet that challenge with some very cool new technology to help consumers and businesses get the most out of wireless. And I'm going to talk to you about how at BlackBerry we'll, we'll drive the next wave of industry growth and how carriers can tap into the new market opportunities in ways that are both scalable and sustainable. I'm sure many of you know Peter Rosavi. He's a respected wireless analyst and understands both the technical and economic aspects of our industry at a very detailed level. Peter's latest research reveals some disturbing trends. It tells us that the surge in wireless data usage is leading to a capacity crunch. As more and more consumers upgrade to smartphones and start to use all these amazing applications and services, it's placing a greater and greater strain on today's networks and technologies. The result? Drop calls, web pages that load too slowly, and applications that can't pull down the data they need to be useful. Ultimately, that's going to lead to frustrated and angry customers. So far, the industry has relied on workarounds, like Wi-Fi offloading and femtocells to ease the load. But based on mobile broadband market trends, Rasabi Research estimates that typical operators are likely to find their available spectrum completely consumed in the next three to five years. The fundamental problem is that there just isn't enough new spectrum in the pipeline. Here's what Peter says, I quote, Given the amount of spectrum required for unrestricted growth of the mobile broadband market, it's unlikely that sufficient spectrum will become available in the required time frame. Let me repeat that. Given the amount of spectrum required for unrestricted growth of the mobile broadband market, it's unlikely that sufficient spectrum will become available in the required time frame. You see, pushing bits over a network has a fixed cost. And if we don't start factoring in this cost, then we don't have the right incentives in place to make data applications and services more efficient. Now, more than ever, our industry needs to come to grips with this impending capacity crunch before we alienate our current customers and scare off millions of potential new ones. At BlackBerry, we focused on efficiency right from the start. Originally, BlackBerry was designed to run on what were little more than glorified paging networks. 
So efficiency is in our DNA. And it's given us some, some key advantages. It's that concept of just-in-time data. Just-in-time data means the BlackBerry platform only pulls down as many bits as are required to give the users a great experience. It also means BlackBerry devices scale on carrier networks better than any other smartphone. We made mobile email fast and efficient, and we did it in a scalable and sustainable way that can easily keep pace with the growth of carrier networks. We did the same thing for document attachments, making it efficient for carriers, but never sacrificing the customer experience. Our efficiency also lets applications run faster and gives them greater reliability in times of congestion, such as during rush hour or moments of crisis when other forms of communication simply don't work. Another advantage is that BlackBerry handsets have the best battery life around. The more efficiently a device handles data, the less it has to turn on its radio, and the longer the battery lasts. I love this chart. What it shows is that by using BlackBerry's highly efficient proxy and compression technologies, network operators can support three BlackBerry browsing sessions for every one other smartphone browsing session. Say that again. Network operators can support three BlackBerry browsing sessions for every one other smartphone browsing session. Just think about what that means to a carrier's bottom line. Last November, we announced our plans for a WebKit browser. And today, I'm going to give you the first ever sneak peek at what we've been up to. Our new browser is going to give customers the rich mobile experiences they expect and carriers the efficiency they need. To do this, we've adapted WebKit to take advantage of the incredible efficiency of the BlackBerry platform, and I can tell you that it's going to be well worth the wait. We've replaced our rendering engine with WebKit, and not only is it blazingly fast, it's also very network efficient. Our browser will do things consumers expect the efficient way, the right way, a way that respects carriers' networks. You can see fast panning, scrolling, zooming, and in a second you'll see us run the ACID 3 test, and you'll see us achieve 100% on that in terms of fidelity in rendering the web. <laughs> think about that browser efficiency chart a moment ago, and think about what, it, what that means for carriers facing an impending capacity crunch. Let me say again what I said earlier, because it's important. What this means for carriers is that they can have three paying BlackBerry customers for every one other. Now that's pretty compelling when capacity is scarce and incredibly valuable. But there's even more to this efficiency story. It leads us to a very exciting roadmap of applications that can be built on top of the sophisticated proven and efficient platform. There's a lot of talk about applications these days, but it's time someone said it. When it comes to applications, what matters is quality, not quantity. Let me say that again. What matters is quality, not quantity. People love email on BlackBerry, not because we wrote a hundred different email applications, but because we wrote an incredibly good one, the best one in the industry. You don't need 100,000 applications. You need applications that you love. You need applications that are relevant for the mobile experience. And carriers need applications to be efficient and respectful of their assets. From the very beginning, BlackBerry has been focused solely on the personal mobile experience. BlackBerry has always enabled multitasking, so you can you can run several applications at the same time, such as listening to music while composing email, browsing, or chatting on BlackBerry Messenger. Not only that, our architecture has always allowed cut and paste and allowed applications to share data, such as phone numbers, websites, and email. That means that different applications can talk to each other even if the developers never did. <laughs> 